Do you want to ace your meds papers with distinctions? Do you want to move from your 40s to your 80s? Stay tuned and let's get into the video. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of JC80 and I hope that you do enjoy the video. If you do like the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the video. For more, let's get into the video. Okay everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna give you basic tips on how to perform well on your mathematics. This video is gonna help you a lot, especially when you are someone who wants to get a distinction in mathematics. The first tip that I'm gonna talk about is make sure that you understand your basics. Starting with basics really enhances your understanding of a problem. It helps you to understand the initial root of a problem for example if you are able to understand the easier concept in terms of like solving a problem even when harder problems of the same concept comes it will be much easier for you to solve it because you know the initial root of the problem which was understanding the basic concept the second tip that i'm going to talk about is practice consistently practicing is key to improving your math skills make sure that you don't skip a night without doing a problem it can even start with a simple solve for x so make sure that every day you give yourself a task to do a problem before you sleep you can even include one hour of meds every day on your schedule so the most important thing every day is setting time to practice meds problems another tip that i'm gonna talk about is use online resources there are many online resources out there that are there to help you improve your med skills just make sure that you download previous question papers digital textbooks digital notes everybody any online resources that are out there that can help you achieve your goals regarding mathematics even other subjects also another tip that i'm gonna give you watch youtube tutorials they can really help you especially when you are a visual learner they can help you a lot to visualize your problems there are many youtube tutorials out there for example we have mr Mlu, like which can help you a lot when it comes to like paper two including kevin maths and sciences check those channels out they can really help you especially their videos also another tip that i'm gonna add is read maths textbooks reading a maths textbook can help you understand a problem better and provide additional practice problems also another tip that i'm gonna talk about is practice problem solving skills practice solving different maths problems to enhance your understanding of of different types of math problems also to improve your problem solving skills it is very important to develop problem solving skills especially when it comes to your euclidean and trigonometry because it wants you to think faster and it wants you to think broader so that you are able to solve the problem another important tip is always check your work always check your work to make sure that you are accurate and precise especially in the examination room so start developing those skills of checking your work before submitting or during your practice hours you can give yourself a specific time to finish the question paper that you are practicing with and make sure that you finish the question paper 20 minutes prior so that you are able to go back to your work and check for mistakes also one of the most important things that i'm going to talk about is create a study schedule to help you stay focused and organized as i always emphasize give yourself enough time to practice meds every day also another thing that i'm going to talk about is set realistic goals regarding mathematics you can set both short term and long term your short terms can be okay i want to ace meds with 80 percent for term one i mean everybody your goals are the ones that are going to keep you driven and focused also another thing that i'm going to talk about is don't be hard on yourself don't be hard on yourself when you make mistakes you get what i'm saying we are all humans and we all make mistakes we learn from our mistakes so be gentle to yourself and stay positive even when times get tough always stay positive and hopeful believe in yourself 100 percent and believe in your capabilities of achieving success also guys celebrate your successes no matter how small they are even for the fact that you moved from your 30s to your 50s it's a huge achievement so make sure that you celebrate each and every success that you gain during this academic year and yeah everybody i hope this video helped you a lot and yeah everybody i'll see you on the next video thank you so much if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the video